Hey guys, Plev here, and in this Gunner Heat PC tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about the M1 Abrams main battle tank. Gunner Heat PC features two of the earliest variants of the Abrams, the M1 and the M1 IP, also known as the IPM1. Both are equipped with a dated 105mm main gun, and the M1 IP features an improved armor package. The tank stores its ammunition separately in the turret bustle with a firewall separating the ammunition from the crew compartment. The tank also features blowout panels, allowing the vehicle to survive what would have been a catastrophic kill in other armored vehicles. The vehicle features a 50 cal mounted on the commander's hatch and an M240 mounted on the loader's hatch, along with a coaxial M240 in control of the gunner, along with its 105 millimeter main gun, which when combined with the fire control system, which is quite advanced on this vehicle, makes this thing a deadly threat to Soviet forces. Let's begin with gunnery. You can enter the gunner's sight with left shift. Holding the right mouse button, you can manipulate the gunner's aiming reticle. Place your crosshair over a target. Press E to laze. You will then receive the distance in meters to the target on the bottom of your screen in the green numbers. In this case, 510 meters. You can zoom your optics with the middle mouse wheel. When ready to fire, a green square will appear to the upper left of your distance in meters from your target. You can fire with the left mouse button. When using manual mode, you can press R to initiate your reload. Before we do that though, let's change our next selected shell. Using your number keys, you can select different ammunition types. In this case, we're carrying APFSDS or SABO, or we can select Heat FS or High Explosive Anti-Tank Fin Stabilized. Your next selected shell will show up below your currently selected shell. Reloading can either be doctrinal, which means depending on the side you play, automatic, or manual. With manual meaning you have to press R to reload the next selected shell. I prefer manual as it gives me more control over my crew. You can also cycle which weapon you have selected with the F key. We just selected our M240. Let's go ahead and switch to our 50 cal. This will pull up a separate aiming site that is unstabilized for the 50 cal. Now let's engage some moving targets using the advanced fire control system featured in this tank. To engage a moving target, place your crosshair over a target. Track it, center mass, and press E. Your lead will automatically be calculated. Go ahead and fire. That was a good hit. Let's engage again just to get some practice. Darn good hit. When tracking a moving target, if you want to dump your lead, you can press Control E, and that will reset your lead. You'll have to laze again in order to get lead again. That's a good hit. When tracking a moving target, you can also dump your lead by simply releasing your right mouse button. If your fire control system is damaged or experiences a fault, an F will appear to the top right of your range to target in meters. In case of damage to the gunner's sight system, you can press C to enter your backup sight mode. This features a stadiometric rangefinder for your currently selected ammo type that can be used to find range on your target between 800 to 2800 meters. The tank also features several pieces of technology, including the thermal imaging sight, which give it a massive advantage during night fighting. You can enable or disable your commander's night vision goggles with the T key. You can enable or disable in the gunner's sight, the thermal imaging sight with the T key as well. Hotter targets will show up as lighter green. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel. When zoomed in, you should have an aiming reticle. Press E to laze. Left click to fire. All other features of the gunner's sight should work as normal, including lead. The tank features a fantastic stabilizer, allowing it to fire while on the move easily. Let's test out the stabilizer by engaging this moving tank ahead of us. I think that was a hit. Fantastic. Let's dump our lead, fire again. 
The M1 Abrams is highly mobile. However, it's officially limited to about 45 miles per hour to protect its tracks. Without this restriction, it can push about 60 miles per hour. The tank also is able to lay down a smoke screen. This can be activated with left control G. In addition to this, you can fire a smoke screen with G. All right, guys, this has been another Gunner Heat PC tutorial with Plev. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if I've helped you out. Plev, out.